Otzi, the Iceman, found frozen high in the Alps, armed, tattooed, and utterly alone. Scientists have just uncovered something even more chilling. Otzi, the Iceman, didn't belong, not to his tribe, not to his land, not even to any known lineages alive today. A groundbreaking genetic study, published recently in Nature Communications, unveiled a truth far more unsettling than anyone imagined. Scientists analyzed ancient DNA from dozens of individuals across the Tyrolean Alps, including Utzi himself. While the local Alpine populations showed remarkably stable genetic profiles, Utzi was an anomaly. His paternal and maternal lineages were completely distinct from everyone else. Neither of his unique genetic signatures appears in any other ancient or modern sample. His maternal line, in particular, seems to have vanished, extinct. He looked like his neighbors. Utzi shared many physical traits with his alpine contemporaries. Dark hair, brown eyes, even lactose intolerance. Yet beneath the surface, his genetic makeup told a different story. He was from a wildly different subgroup, perhaps linked to early farmers from distant Anatolia or northern Italy. The local Copper Age populations in the Alps were genetically consistent for millennia. 80 to 90% of their DNA came from Anatolian farmers, a stable lineage that persisted even as Europe shifted around them. The Alps remained a genetic island of consistency. So, who was Utzi? Was he adopted into the Alpine group, a lone visitor, or a refugee from a vanishing people? If his unique lineage is gone, what happened to them? The answers hint at a deeper, more profound mystery about human history. Population genetics reveals a stark truth. Over 90% of ancient human lineages are now extinct or untraceable. Genetic bottlenecks, migrations, disease, conquest, and assimilation have wiped out countless family trees. Many ancient haplogroups simply disappear over time. We've found evidence of entire civilizations that left no descendants. Individuals like Utzi, who were genetic or cultural outliers, appear in the archaeological record. Burial sites are filled with people whose DNA has no living match. Another truth, DNA doesn't preserve well. Even when it does, we've only sequenced a tiny sliver of all the humans who've ever lived. Otzi's story is a chilling reminder that the past holds secrets we've barely uncovered. Otzi's people are gone, but his body, his tools, his DNA, they're still speaking. And what they're saying is loud and clear. History isn't just remembering, it's realizing what we've lost.